Damn it. I must be more respectable. Haven't done a vlog in ages. So this is going to be a long ass, long ass uh, vlog. And if you're wondering what this is, this is Sniffer. You know, a long time ago, back in the 1980s and 1990s, there were some like say, in Malaysia, the TVs were playing those like uh, old dramas. Okay, Hong Kong actually does all those imperial dramas, you know, in China, those imperialists, not imperialists, that sounds like British, those uh, Chinese government, they wear those black uh, huge uh, hats, unlike the ones that are worn in the military of North Korea, although the old Chinese imperialists, theirs is black and looks like a cup shape. Yeah, something like cup shape. Uh, back then, they were also using sniffers uh, in the form of some kind of... I'm not sure what the hell it is, actually. Never tasted it. Maybe opium in it. Who knows? Well, this one is just doused in... Uh, in... This... This is like minyak angin. Minyak angin means minyak. It means uh, oil, and angin means air, air oil. It's something like uh, I'm not sure actually. Back in when I was in standard six or standard five or standard four, when I was like ten years old, I used to s smell this a lot. Uh, you take the back then, I take tissue paper. I mean toilet paper actually. Tissue paper seems a bit too luxurious. <coughs> tissue paper in uh sorry, toilet paper in the form of that. This one piece, then you fold it into a little square and you douse some of the minyak angin into it and then you smell. Oh, that's a Providence Gundam which I've uh, <laughs> finished. Of course, I haven't applied the decals and there's still this. Not sure whether I'll make a video out of it or not because uh, this is the backpack. Of course, Providence Gundam is the main baddie of, I think it's uh, the first Gundam seed series. Uh, that's a cartoon. Anyway, but damn, look at this. This is not from Bandai. Bandai is the official toy maker. Yeah, but this one is from Devil Arts uh, from China. And this is goddamn great, man. It's a very fun build. Very fun build. And it's very detailed and until it's very scary because uh, you can like panel line it. But the panel lines, the, the gaps where you can color it with a marker such as this Gundam marker here is very small so it has a nice weight to it and this is a 1 out of 100 skill it's nice to play and pose and whatever but if you were to have a 160 skill of this it's going to be too huge and those are where the perfect grades come in it's too huge and you can't play with it uh, yeah unfortunately this one is just lovely to hold and to, of course, all these Gundams you're not supposed to play with because it is actually a time waster. It's a, it's something that you do to enjoy yourself. Of course, when I do that, I am uh, listening to. Uh, hopefully, this is a decent uh, picture. Oops, okay, it's not decent. To James S. A. Corey's, which is this one here. James S. A. Corey uh, all these audio books from you know uh, Sci-Fi Network channel they already have two seasons of this series called The Expanse and it's one of the greatest uh, sci-fi uh, series ever on in the lights of Game of Thrones there are only two seasons but damn it's very entertaining <laughs> So these, uh, like say, there are five novels here. I'm still at Leviathan Wicks. That's the first, second season, I think. Caliban's War, Abaddon's Gate, and all those things. Cibola Burn, Nemesis Games, and small little novellas like Gods of Risk, The Churn, The Vital Abyss. All these things, I'm listening to it while doing the Providence Gundam. <clears throat> so... So what's this uh, vlog about? I haven't like done this in a long time. I just released this thing here. 
Okay, nowadays in YouTube, there is this thing happening called the apocalypse. Uh, uh, I'm not making gangbusters, of course. Support me through Patreon, no, of course you won't. But then I might just watch and watch and watch. Because what I get is uh, 1,000 views equals 43 US cents to me. If I get 1,000 views, it's 43 US cents. In the US, I think it's a bit different. It's like one... According to DG Bro, one of the channels, DG Bro, he says it's one thousand views equals one US dollar. For me, it's different. It's like forty-three US cents per one thousand uh, views. Of course, across the board, across the YouTubers out there, it varies. It it is different, but the changes in the apocalypse is quite uh, scary. One of my favorite uh, gaming, although I don't play much games except for Company of Heroes 1 and 2 Actually Company of Heroes 2 only, I'm playing that game don't have time to to play games because I, I love to sleep So, if you were to uh, listen to what's happening uh, on YouTube about the gaming sphere There's one channel which is called, no idea, to look for it uh, Everybody in this, like, uh, the ones that I'm subscribed to is going to Patreon, you know, to try to get their, their viewers to support their life. <laughs> in turn, their, support their livelihood, in turn, their life or their, kind of like, their job. So there's one who just came out about a couple of days ago, asking them to, like, support him. While he does game analysis, <coughs> I forgot the name of this. Ah, downward trust. <coughs> <coughs> You're hearing the azan or whatever you call the solat uh, prayers, but you gotta be careful because they are playing it from a CD, and that song is copyrighted. So don't be shocked. If you are a YouTuber, you're walking around in Malaysia or some Muslim country, and they play that. Uh, prayer song and suddenly you put it in the net and it's copyrighted you can't make money out of it whoops so scary you know so downward trust uh, he posted something like why the YouTube app ad apocalypse is happening <laughs> so he wants people my income dropped 41% it, it happens what happens is <clears throat> it happened to me and now I know uh, the reason why Wilson Lee, my one and only patron, he gives about four, five US dollars. Hopefully, you're okay, bro. Uh, guess you are suffering from some depression. I am too. What to do? Uh, YouTube editor went down a couple one week ago. It went down. It's gone already. My main way of the easiest way of editing videos gone from YouTube. And suddenly, this type of apocalypse, apocalypse. He was, uh, Wilson Lee <clears throat> said that uh, small channels like his will be affected by a new policy which hit me about two days ago. When he told me that, uh, that his videos, if it's less than 1,000 views, he won't get much money, I was thinking, well, what's happening? I don't understand. Because it did not hit me at all. My, my channel was okay and suddenly two days ago it just happened what happened let's go into the upload page okay you see this uh, yellow marker there it was fine until two days ago oh did I tell you the date today today is the 4th of October 2017 so so this video if it's more than 21 minutes long that means I can't I have to stitch it together and I have to use the program called Hotshot here and the, that will consequently make my CPU here whir that means the fan it comes very hot and I have to process the effing video so this one here it says not suitable for most advertisers review requested that means I re I requested the review it's strange that this this uh, thing here which is called Women Empowerment Festival press conference <coughs> uh, there's 
I mean, feminism, I think maybe because there was a woman empowerment festival in the text, they say, oh, women better not support it monetarily. So it's, I feel that it is a hit and miss when it comes to the bots, the robots who, or which uh, deems whether one video is suitable or not suitable. It's very, very weird. So it's a hit and miss when it comes to all these bots. So YouTube is kind of like uh, shooting itself in the foot, but YouTube does not care. Just imagine it. For those small little YouTubers who gets, they'll be happy if they get 1,000 views on each video or on any particular of their videos. Because if you're not famous and if you're like, your content is not short and it's easy to view because everybody has a very short uh, attention span and people normally watch YouTube videos nowadays on their smartphone so the quality of your videos does not is not important anymore okay 4 4k video it's not that important because majority of the views gotten by uh, gotten in YouTube is watched on your smartphone so 4k videos or 4k cameras I think <coughs> I think it's for the mainstream uh, mainstream media like for programs that is only for the TV for YouTube itself you can you can make videos with your potato camera uh, like say 480p because majority of people they watch it on their smartphones and don't get me on those uh, latest technology when it comes to smartphones smartphones that can display 4k video on a small piece of hardware like this it can go F themselves because what's the point the 4k on a small little screen does not compute because your eyes are not a, it's not a microscope okay you can't like get the detail you want to watch a 4k video you have to have a 4k uh, TV and a big 4k TV to actually get the small little details when you go near the TV you can see small little details so uh, you don't need to have a very good camera to, to to survive on YouTube of course you have to be popular your programs have to be all your videos have to be short uh, to to uh, what do you call uh, consider the attention span of uh, people nowadays so a lot of things to consider and of course if you were hit by this yellow little uh, sign here this money sign that means you're completely effed okay because uh, if you want them to reinstate your video into a uh, what called user friendly or advertiser friendly there's a catch 22 that means your video will have to have more than 1000 views within one week to qualify to be reviewed manually by a human being that will be given the keys to the kingdom who has the the power to actually turn on the tap where little sense little uh, pieces of money will trickle into your bank account you get what I mean there's a condition there when the bots deem your video how it does that no idea maybe by the facial recognition software of your thumbnail if there is a scantily clad woman that means oh hmm, women thumbnail better not turn on the money tab for this person until he gets 1000 views within one within seven days then some human will be going to that video and look at it whether it's advertiser friendly or not so it's a catch-22 if you're not famous you're not like pulling in uh, more than 1000 views a day that means tough luck of course you might say that oh I'm doing YouTube as a passion project it's I don't care about the wheels I just want to like do it for fun 
course, it's always an added incentive to get some money, just enough to buy some food. Uh, and you, t if you turn off the tap, it's like, oh, it's like punishing you for some things that happen in the YouTube sphere. Something like uh, all these people who think that free speech can be gotten in YouTube. There's no such thing as free speech on, on YouTube. All of this happened because of Felix, what's his name? Felix Kannenberger, PewDiePie, with his stupid video depicting Hitler or some African fucker, some African Fs, holding a sign that says, Death to all Hughes, Death to all Jews. So, shit. Bad times, right? Yes, I know. And it's all because of bots. The bots will, will, they will go into your your videos and they will select the the videos that may seem advertiser and unfriendly, and you turn off the tab, the monetary tab, until you press a button. You want a manual manual uh, manual determination whether the video is advertiser friendly or not on the catch or on the uh, requirement the prerequisite that that particular video gets 1000 views within seven days then they will go and check it manually not and not all my videos get 1000 views within a week cumulatively if it gets more than 1000 views over not 7 days but within an unlimited, unlimited time, time, time span that means from that time that you press the button you want it manually uh, manually determine whether it's advertiser friendly or not from that time until 1000 views has passed no matter it's 7 days 1 month or 1 year then they will come in and determine whether it's advertiser friendly or not then that is better not within seven days seven days 1000 views holy shit you have to be a big youtuber already when you achieve 1000 views per video within one week if it falls into a small little uh, bots hell uh, the bot that determines that your video whichever peri whichever pyramid whichever perimeter that it it uh, focuses on that deems your video to be not advertiser friendly. How does the bot work? Who knows? Is it because of the tags? Who knows? Is it because of the thumbnail? Who knows? Is it because of the video? Does it like scan everything? Who knows? Nobody knows. So I, I was quite pissed off because this one, this uh, woman empowerment festival that I went to yesterday suddenly gets this like yellow death mark and now it's only at uh, 26 views of course I don't think you will ever reach 1000 views so you can say that this video is out of luck making me any money that's hap that will happen it's unfair right because of your fate being determined by robots so at this uh, woman empowerment festival I found that wow this this girl here, this Megan May, a violinist, uh, she's so beautiful. Of course, I did not tell her that she's beautiful, but she's damn beautiful. Her hairstyle is so nice. She's very beautiful, very, very beautiful. I like her hairstyle. Okay, never mind. You just go wash it yourself. Oh. So that's my life. Uh, I have to deal with a uh, new YouTube thing. Uh, YouTube editor. I have to use a new YouTube editor. It has made my life a bit more complicated. Uh, then all this uh, apocalypse makes it a bit 
more difficult in terms of getting me some money and uh, you know that meet and greet with this uh, group called juice equals juice that has been pulling quite a lot of like uh, attention to my channel I'm glad that I covered that event because I don't know because the girls are cute the Japanese girls this weekend I think I'll be covering another Japanese group called Minisuka Polisa, three girls. I think one of them is quite cute. So it's at one Utama shopping mall. Just in case you do not know. Let's see here. Co one cosplay that I uh, did not have to, did not go to was Ace cosplay. So uh, did not feel like going. So whoops, did not go at all. So you look at this uh, juice meet and greet. Thank God it's like 5,000 views on a 36 minute video. So, but if you look at this intro, Juice, Juice, Me and Grid, 628 views. Just in case if a bot determines that ah, it's not advertiser friendly, then I am effed until now. I mean, 628 views, manual, uh, the chances of a manual uh reinstatement of the monetization on this particular video will be very slim because there's only 628 views and not many not not all videos will get 1000 views within seven days unless it's a super 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 popular one like an artist and whatnot but never mind shit f it who cares <sighs> oh, and there's always some things happening, uh, some uh, media sh uh, stuff that uh, I'm interested in through Facebook I just ask them whether I can come as a media or not and sometimes they do like uh, send me some stuff to cover like say going to Wan Utama yeah we are pleased to invite you to the opening ceremony of Malaysia Jap and Japan 60th Diplomatic Anniversary Celebration Festival 2017 at Wan Utama when you LG over to make uh, the event successful is a lot, a lot, a lot. Do you have a please RSVP your attendance before 5th October? Thank you. 5th October, Wednesday. That's tomorrow. So, I must well go on this. What day is this? I think it's a Friday. 6th of October, Friday. We've got nothing to do on 6th of October, which is two days from now. Two days Wednesday, right? The 4th of October. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, shit. Friday, one Utama. Saturday, also one Utama. Coincidentally, on the 8th of October, there's one event uh, in Malacca, it's called Malacca Pahlawan K-Pop Dance Cover Game. I would love to go and cover it. But at the same time, the Centrum Mall Grand Opening in Kajang, Kuala Lumpur, is happening. It's a new mall. I like going, I like to go and cover malls. On the opening day, I like it. I'm not sure why. I love the dust, the new people in a new building type of feel. I don't want a squeaky clean mall to cover. I like to cover it when it's in its infancy. You can call me a pedophile if you want to, but pedo mall feel if you want to. So there's a grand opening of a mall in Kajang. I want to cover that. Then there's a Linda Chung. For this bio essence Sunway Pyramid uh, event from two to four p.m. and Malacca, the one Malacca is about two hours and using Google Maps is two hours plus plus to get there is almost similar to Ipo going to Penang. It's roughly two hours to, for me. If the Google Maps says, uh, if the Google Maps says that. It 
it's two hours to get there. For me as a motorcyclist, I cannot go more than 100 kilometers an hour. The threshold for my hurricane bike is is uh, is 100 kilometers. It does not go over 100 kilometers. The best uh, speed for my motorcycle is about 80, 90 kilometers an hour. So on the day itself, going to Kajang is north, I think. Wait, Kajang. Grand opening of this Bangi, Kajang, Bangi. It's near IOI Mall, it's IOI City Mall, which I went to to cover two events, or oh, kind of not two events. One was because of that stupid international tourism, or not sure what the what pageant it was. I wasn't let in, so after that, IOI City Mall itself. There was this Hana Delisha event and that um, <coughs> horse oil Gurson. Korean Gurson horse oil event. I went. It's around there. This new mall that is coming is the cent, the centrum. Hopefully, it's a big one. The last uh, mall that I covered was Melawati Mall, which is I think north of KL. Yeah, getting there was scary because a lot of like uh, highways. Yeah. So I've been like quite down for the past couple of. Uh, weeks because of all this YouTube editor crap and now I have another reason to be down because of this uh, what do you call this YouTube ad apocalypse so far from my estimates I'm able to feed myself every month from the views yeah feed myself only I think I'm making about like 20 ringgit per day think so from doing all this like YouTube stuff but it might change because of this more restrictive monetization of new videos that really F's everything up you know it can really really F things up because if there's a new video I put in a new video and suddenly the bot or the software will say, oh, yeah, this is quite uh, scary, so no monetization for you unless you get 1,000 views within 7 days so that somebody can, some human can come and give you the, the monetization back. It's scary because a bot is the one that determines whether you make money out of your new videos or not. Every view counts, okay? 1, 2, 10 views per video, it all counts. But suddenly you too, just think of it. If YouTube suddenly implements a new, uh, new, new policy to de to deter new YouTubers from cropping up from using their their services, what if YouTube says a video that has less than one thousand views will not subject to monetization at all? So you don't make money out of the first one thousand views. You only make money once you go over one thousand views in each video in each particular video that means oh my god all the youtube youtubers the wannabe youtubers will be working for free because to get 1000 views per video is near impossible for those who have just come up it, only the ones who are established who has like say 50000 subscribers or more they can easily achieve uh, that threshold that 1000 views that would be really bad for newcomers. Of course, that would make uh, YouTube less, what do you call? Uh, not many new new people would want to like jump into jump into the YouTube career, or, uh, YouTube career path. Not all of us can be PewDiePie, PewDiePie, where his uh, his videos is like always one one million plus plus. And bear in mind, he was the one who made all this apocalypse gain momentum you know he's a very popular uh, uh, the, the person who's supposed to be the face of YouTube effing things up for all the other youtubers 
because of the apocalypse. Of course, uh, YouTube has been attacked by the mainstream media. They don't want YouTube to have all the ad revenue or all the advertisers like money to put ads into YouTube. So they attacked YouTube itself. It attacked this PewDiePie, and what happens? PewDiePie opened up his his bloody mouth, and everything just snowballs, and we all like suffer for it. All even though he PewDiePie is not the main instigator, but he was the most noticeable person, the scapegoat. He's the most popular and the most popular person better represent YouTube well. And he did not represent us well by doing some foolish joke, by asking some two African guys in Africa to put up a sign that says, Death to all Jews, and that's why all the uh, advertisers suddenly wanted to opt out. They don't want to give money to YouTube, so everything is just bad. That's my rant. 31 minutes. That's quite long. So, see you. Oh, I th All this like media stuff. I know you're, you're not like, interested in the media stuff. I'm also in not that interested in the media stuff if it's boring. I want to have like the media press conference to have some uh, show or some performances when uh, Megan May. Never knew that she existed and now I know she exists. She's very pretty. Uh, wild in, pretty wild in this. <sighs> Never mind. See you. I want to go back to doing full vi videos. But I'm lazy. See you. Bye bye.